Zoldian here and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Go. You guys, yesterday's episode was amazing. I had so much fun going out. Even though we got bogged down and all this stuff, it was still a really, really nice time. Aside from the 45 minutes that we had to get the car out of the sand, it was fun. We caught some water Pokemon. We set out to do what we wanted to do and it was a lot of fun. Anyway, tonight I really wanted to do some nighttime Pokemon hunting. Not midnight in the woods type stuff, I mean where Pokemon really spawn. Lately we've been seeing that rural areas aren't necessarily the best place to find Pokemon, that where the people gather is much more likely. And downtown there's a bunch of Pokestops, so I'd like to check out the downtown area, kind of walk around a little bit, hang around on the parks a little bit, drop some lures on some of the Pokestops and have some fun. I'm going to bring my daughter and her boyfriend out and also my wife is going to probably help me film a little bit. We're going to see if we can meet some people around town, see what kind of Pokemon they got and also try to catch some rare Pokemon. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, give me some dab on that like button. To show your support for the series and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Let's go downtown and get to it. So guys, I'm here at a park right around my house. We're gonna do some nighttime Pokemon hunting. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and drop a lure on this Pokestop here. So we've got two lures going on. And I'm also gonna use an incense here. I'm gonna use a lucky egg. There we go. And we're just gonna start racking them up right here. All right guys, so we're at that park in Abbeville and I made a few friends here. And hey, what's your name, Robert. sir? Robert? Robert has, what's the highest CP? A 611 Jolteon. Is that, you evolved that? Yeah. Did you call it Sparky? Nope. You don't need to do it, right? No, no. this is gonna be random. Everybody on the internet is telling me, you gotta say, you gotta name it Sparky or, um, what was the other name of it? Um, Pyro. Pyro for hey, Flareon. Yep, or, or Rainer. Vaporeon. Vaporeon, that's yeah. what I'm thinking of. It that's me. that's it what's all in the gyms right here. Yeah. And who are you, sir? Dustin. Dustin, and Dustin, what kind of uh, kind of setup you got here? Oh, well, my gosh, a 941 Pyro, 705 Rainer, and a 516 Tang. I think that one's higher than my Tang a lot, too. That's what I caught by my house. That's awesome. And you got a victory bill. I missed one by my house earlier. My house. And you got a lick of toe. I already know who this gal is and her and her good friend Justin. What do you guys got? Bailey, show me your Pokemon. Started by CP. What's your high one? So your biggest one is a 370, 347 gold back. You just caught it tonight? Yeah, awesome. And you have that 269. Oh my. That's pretty good. What we got, Justin? You're a little bit high level, huh? He is one yeah. level higher than me. Alright, so you got. A 345 Raticate, 311 Pidgeot, 293 Gobat. You caught that Gobat today too, huh? I caught both. That's awesome, dude. That is really awesome. Oh, All right, y'all. There's a Machab out here that everybody started showing. A wild Machab up here. Let's see what I level it right, is. Yeah. It's a 478. Okay. Whoa. I'm going to use a Raspberry. Cool. <laughs> yeah. It's because it's <laughs> Mine was 235. Level? But you, my, you, it has to do with your level, though. What's uh, your level? Yeah, yeah. What's your level? I am 16. Oh yeah, well, of course, I'm level 8. I'm going to use every great ball I got on this darn thing. There you go. Uh, you can always Sorry. use a raspberry. Then. I use the raspberry too. I was only yeah. a 109. Yeah, mine too. Come on, baby. Three. Right Boom. That's it. That's it. Awesome. Thank y'all very much, guys. Watch out. Okay. Beautiful. It's over. That's what you need to 
Well, All right, guys. So it was a lot of fun in Abbeville, and we're gonna wave bye to everybody. Say everybody bye. 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 Thank y'all. It was nice meeting you guys. Y'all yeah. yeah. take care. Safe travel. So it was starting to get a little bit late, and my daughter and her boyfriend both had band camp the following day. So we decided to drop Justin off, but. As soon as we dropped him off, I did find a 317 Geo dude and ended up catching him after using a raspberry and a great ball. And then, uh, because my wife decided to take a back road, we ended up going really, really slow, trying to catch a few, po few more Pokemon. Um, Bailey had just finished doing some evolutions and we decided to use some incense and some lucky eggs. And we did get, in. The I ended up getting four eggs that hatched. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get the footage for the first one. I thought my screen recorder was running, but I ended up getting a Rhinehorn, and then I got a Psyduck, a Coughing, and an Ekans, which is really, really cool. Coughing and Ekans were nice. They ended up back-to-back, -back, and my daughter was going crazy because those were the two in the cartoons always for Team Rocket, so it was pretty funny, at least in the first season. So, right before my experience egg was about to run out, and we pulled up in the driveway, there was a man key in my yard, and Bailey and I both tried to catch it. Bailey unfortunately missed it, hers got away, but I was able to catch it. It was a very low CP, but it was a new Pokemon to my Pokedex, so I got double the XP for it, which put me pretty well into my current level right now. So I spent a considerable amount of time last night trading in Pokemon to the professor for their respective candies so that I can start doing some evolutions again. Because when I get to level 20, I'm going to want to start evolving Eevees, I'm going to want to start evolving some of my other Pokemon that I'm close to on candy, and right now all I'm doing is accumulating Pokemon to trade them in for candy to get more and more levels like I did the other day. Which I also brought up to Bailey up to speed last night, and I've been coaching her, and Justin is nowhere near the same level of experience now he she passed him right up because I've been telling her to save her candy and Justin's been using them a little bit less frugal than her so it's really really cool so let's check out what we got last night I can go to my journal here and y'all gonna see there's a few that I got today which is I think today's the 20th yeah today's the 20th so let's go on the no oh actually these were caught um, after 12.32 a.m. Yes, you see 4.26 a.m. I got up to go to the restroom, I grabbed my phone, and I caught a Pokemon. <laughs> I caught a story you. I'm, I'm addicted, y'all. It's bad. So anyway, you can look here to see all the stuff I got. I got a man key, I got a horsey, I got a couple story use, some Eevees, so many Poke Stops throughout the evening. Krabbies, Paras, another Scyther, um, a dodo, which I've been getting a few of those here and there, and as you saw that weeping bell, which was huge as well, and I think that's where it stops showing. But I've got I got a lot of Pokemon yesterday, a ton and a ton of experience. So let's take a look at the Pokemon themselves and see what we got. So we can do, I guess we can probably evolve. I think we can evolve a few of the. Pidgeys, and we can probably do a couple of Rattatats. There's my Rhyhorn that I caught yesterday. It's a 499. Very, very good. It's a it's a Rock type or Ground type, and it has Fighting, uh, rock, it has Rock Smash and Stomp. Now, there's something I'm not clear on that. Maybe you guys can give me some information about. When something is dual type like this, so ground and rock, does that mean it's vulnerable to both things, to everything that is super effective against ground or rock? Or does it need to be both and vice versa? Can it defend well against that? So if you could break that down for me, that's pretty cool. Yes, I could look it up on the wiki, but I'd rather, I'd rather read it in the comments from you guys because that's what I do videos for, to learn, to kind of interact with y'all and to go there. Anyway. Let's see here. So, I also got a couple of slow pokes yesterday too, which was pretty good. And we're starting to get pretty high up on the Venonats. I haven't evolved any Venomoths yet. Let's see how much you need to evolve into a Venomoth. It's 50 candy. Yeah, I'm not going to do I only have 60. I could do one, but I don't have... I mean, 312 is a decent CP, but I'm not going to go crazy on that. Alright, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and use an egg. Lucky egg. I got 16. I bought a few yesterday. 
I kind of splurged for, for Bailey and Justin. They never get to go out hunting like that. And we were having a family night, so I just bought them a couple of gift to, uh, gift cards for iTunes and Google Play. Bailey has an iPhone, and um, and Justin has an Android, so we just had some fun with it, and I, I gave them so they'd have a lot of balls to shoot and stuff like that. It was a good time. All right, so we burn in daylight here. We got an experience egg. We need to use it. Let's go to Pokemon, and we'll start with the Pidgeys naturally. Actually, I think I might be able to do some Caterpie too. Uh, I do have, yeah, I have 56 Caterpie candy, so let's go ahead and evolve a Caterpie. And I know, I think I said Caterpie, or Caterterpy, or something like that, or Caterpie. I don't know what I said the last video, guys, but sometimes I talk so fast when I'm thinking about stuff that I don't even know what I'm saying. It's, it's a problem. Alright, we got a Metapod, and... It's CP. This was the highest one. I'm not going to do them all on camera, but I'll show you all the highest at least. A 151 Metapod. Yeah, pretty small. Okay. Let's also do my Eevees. I'm not ready to do that. I got one Eevee that I would consider doing. You know what? I'll do an Eevee for you guys. I'll do an Eevee for you guys. Let's go ahead and evolve. Well, no. 75. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. I know. I want. I want. I want some higher ones. I did, and I missed a few higher ones yesterday. That's what keeps me hopeful. Plus, I want to be able to do all three at a time. So I'm just gonna wait on them. Uh, let's see here. So we can do. Let's do our highest Pidgey, which right now our highest Pidgeot, our highest Pidgey Odo. I'm sorry, is 4.98. Uh, which would probably evolve into a big Pidgeot, but anyway, we're not trying to do that yet. Let's go ahead and evolve. So 144 CP Pidgey is going to go to, if it evolves even, there it is. It's taking its sweet old time today. That's okay. Evolution does take time. But I feel like this patience is going to reward me pretty good, you guys. And all I need is like 10k XP to get to the next level, so I'm going to grind a little bit here and see what I can come up with. So I just did one of my last evolutions to get enough experience to where I needed to go up a level. And it should just bump me right over. 18, baby. All right, 10 Great Balls, Hyper Potions, Revives, and Raspberries. We've been stacking up some revives and potions. That's really, really good. What we're going to end up doing is being able to take on gems when we decide to power up. Aside from that, guys, <laughs> check out my Stardust. It's, it's getting pretty insane over here. Let's take a look. We do have a couple more Pidgeys that we can evolve as well. Look, 71k Stardust. It's insane. Actually, I'm out of Pidgey candy, so I can't evolve any more Pidgeys for today. But it did get me right over the level that I wanted to be at. I suppose I could do some rats. Eh, I think I'm going to leave it be. I might just take my the rest of my time to kind of use an incense and mess around with some of that. But... I'm really, really happy with the progress we've been making. So the next few videos, I guess what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to level up. I'm going to try to show you guys any new Pokemon that I catch. It might be in post format because a lot of the locations that I'm going to be going in the next few days are just going to be like everyday locations like maybe some shopping or going into town to look around some stuff or maybe some joy riding and stuff like that but I don't think I'm gonna go on any remote locations for some serious Pokemon hunting but you never know I'll try to bring my camera where I can where it's convenient but I'm not gonna go to like the mall and start vlogging and stuff like that because it's just weird people already look at me like I'm crazy most of the time with the camera but I'm having fun with the vlogging style stuff and I'd like to know what you guys would like to see as well after I get a few more levels and I feel like the time is right I'm gonna start doing gyms I don't know if the videos will stay daily, but I'm going to try to produce them as much as possible to keep them good and fun. So I hope you guys are really, really enjoying these videos. If you do, give me some dap on that like button to show you support, and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos, guys. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.